Guys, join me and my daughters as we go on a white water rafting trip in Kuala Kuruwai. Cheers! Kuala Kubu Baru is located one hour's drive away from Kuala Lumpur and it is the site of a famous whitewater rafting spot. So guys, the whitewater rafting trail starts from Kampung Gerachi and goes along the Slango River for a length of around 8 kilometers until it reaches Taman Millennium at Ampang Pecah. So guys, what you need to do is drive up to Pyro's Swift Water Base Camp at Taman Millennial Ampang Pecha. From there, you're taken by Land Rover up to Kampong Gerachi. After a safety briefing here, you're taken along the Whitewater Trail back to Taman Millennial and Ampang Pecha. A good company to try whitewater rafting at Kuala Kuru Baru is Pyro's Swift Water Sindiran Burhat, run by a husband and wife team, Abdullah Pai and Rose and they can be contacted at the above numbers. Guys, this international scale of river difficulty was created by the American Whitewater Rafting Association and it characterizes the rapids for water sports including whitewater rafting. And the rapids at Kuala Kuubaru can go up to class 3 to 4. So when you meet at the Whitewater Rafting Base Camp, there's lunch provided if you want to for those morning surfers in the afternoon of course you don't take lunch because you need to surf on an empty stomach so guys at Kampong Gerachi first you're given a safety briefing and instructed on how to wear your helmet your PFD or personal flotation device or life jacket and then you're instructed on some basic paddling terms and how to handle a paddle before you're let loose on the Selangor River to face the rapids so guys, you can see here the co-founder of Pyro Swift Water Rafting, Mr. Abdullah Pai, is giving his safety briefing, instructing us before we go on our trail. So that's me, Jack, Anne and Amy heading off on our first rapid shoot off. So after 15 minutes of sailing, you come to the first major rapid, it's called the First Canyon. It's a category 3 to 4 rapid. It's, that's us going through this rapid now. And here we are, recovering from the shock of going through that First Canyon rapid. The next major rapid is called a Chicken Drop. This is because the rapid will want to fold your raft in two or topple it over. And that's us going through this big rapid now. So guys, you see we came through the rapids without any mishap. But watch the next raft coming down the same drop. So guys, as seen here, you better be prepared to get wet. And your raft can easily topple over if you're not careful. So you need to remain calm if you get toppled into the water. Try to hold on to the rope and float on your back until the guides fish you out of the water. This was the site of the first waterfall we stopped at for a breather. Nice sound of water rushing down the stones. Shadi, how's it going? How is it? Should I? See ya. Now this was the site of the second waterfall we stopped at. This was where we could actually get down, take a breather and walk and feel the waters, walk under the waters of the waterfall. Go under the waterfall lah. Well, at this waterfall, they had some light stacks for us, which included some fruits, cold water, some chocolates, and some biscuits. You can see here, Anne, Amy, and Jack really enjoyed sitting on the rocks while the water gushed through them. It was very refreshing.
and they enjoyed it. The girls then decided to get a bit more adventurous and decided to walk under the waterfall itself to feel the might of the water gushing on them. So after that 15 minute breather, we were back on the river heading for more rapids. We actually learned a bit of discipline here, learning how to sit in a raft, how to keep the paddle up with the blades upright and the handle at the bottom so that there was no chance of injuring your fellow passengers. This was November during the rainy season and as, as such, the water levels were very high on the river and the rapids were all twice as fast as usual. Now this rapid called the Second Canyon was the largest rapid on the trail and it was a good trail. So you guys, you can see the rap the next raft coming after us were more adventurous. The occupants were actually standing up while going down the rapids. You can see the guys are having a bit of fun with the girls. The last part of the trail is called the Last Rapid or the Lazy River, where you can actually float down the waters towards your destination. And so Amy, Jack and Anne decided to jump in the river and try and float down the river as advised. Swim to the right Okay girls, camera. Uh, look here. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, relax here. It's floating. Uh. Kaki angkat ke depan. Uh. Okay, downstream. So what you need to do if you want to float is you can either float on your tummy or on your back. But make sure do not catch hold of any roots or branches or rocks because then you can have injuries just lie back let the water guide you towards his destination the guides were there to keep an eye to make sure no untoward incidents happen finally jack decided to take a picture okay. with okay. abila pai the okay. friendly co of pyros okay Sweet water. Yeah, okay. Yeah. guys i hope you enjoyed that very exciting trip sailing down the Slango River on a white water raft. Cheers!